Hello guys, today we're going to be doing a video on Escape from Tarkov using the RTX 3060 Ti. We're running at 5800X, 16 kilobytes of RAM running at 3200 megahertz. I promised I would do a video of Tarkov with the 5800X when I got the chance to use it again. And uh, I'm not on my setup obviously, it's not my CPU or my system. Tarkov is very CPU bottlenecked, so we'll see what kind of a FPS boost we get from, from jumping up from the 3700X to the 5800X. I'm going to be starting it off with 1080p on the low settings. I do have TAA enabled as well. Anyway, let's jump into it. Alright, let's get into it. We've got into our first match in customs. I'm going jacked with a mutant and TF5 armor. Honestly, FPS is doing quite well. GPU is sitting at 60%. It's like only half of it's being used up. So 1080p honestly shouldn't be a problem. Even in ultra settings, I feel like we're going to be still CP bottleneck. But the game's running really well, holding 100 FPS easily. I think with the 3700X, we're getting 70, 80 FPS. That's that's where it normally caps it out at. And we are late in wipe, so the servers are, are mostly dead. Even on customs, you only have a couple of PMCs running around. So FPS will be affected somewhat from that as well. Um, when you play on a fresh wipe, FPS will usually be lower since the servers are packed. With this CPU, or with the 5900X, I normally get like 150 to 170 FPS on an MTH server, and if it's a packed server, I still drop down to like the high 80s to 90s. So 3700X you can fall into the 50s with that CPU, but normally it sits around 70, 80 FPS. So we're getting a pretty decent boost of like 30, 40 FPS by just upgrading our CPU. Um, something to keep in mind is that this system is running 16 gigs of RAM. It's not up to me, it's on my system, so I couldn't um, have 32 gigs. But this game definitely uh, will benefit with the extra RAM. I bumped it up to 1440p, and we can see our GPU is already fully maxed out at 1440p, but FPS is still over 100. Oh, we do get some dips into the 80s as well, like 80% usage as well, I guess. And we fall into the high 90s. Honestly, Tarkov is a weird game. FPS doesn't really f um, determine the smoothness or how the or how fluid your aim feels. You can definitely play at like 60 FPS or like or 50 FPS and it still feels really smooth. And you can be playing at 140 FPS and your aim doesn't feel as smooth as it should at 140. So it's kind of weird, but yeah, the game feels the same as low, at 1080p low. All right, playing the game at 4K now. I forgot to mention this before, but this is these are all online raids as well. Not playing offline. These are online raids, but we are getting 60 FPS at 4K low. With TAA. The game does look really good at low. There's like there's some slight differences between playing at max settings versus playing on low settings. Uh, screen space reflections is the big one. Definitely makes a big difference to the um, to how the game looks. But you don't really need it, you know. Still Since I'm on my setup, everything is different, the aim sensitivity and all that, and the keybinds have all reset, so it's kind of rough playing, but we'll we'll manage it. We can see that our FPS actually can fall into the 50s, the mid to high 50s as well. So maybe like smokes and... I mean normally people don't use smoke, smoke grenades anyway, but still. Maybe a smoke grenade would, would make it dip down into the low 50s. Alright, let's go ahead and jump up to medium settings, 1080p. Alright, actually like, let's go ahead and test out DLSS real quick at 4K, playing on quality DLSS, and the game looks really good now. At release, on the release of DLSS, it was kind of broken. Some textures would act weird and look weird. And scopes were also bugged out as well. If you scoped them with DLSS, it would be super blurry. But apparently that's been fixed, so I guess we'll see in this video if they actually fixed it up. But we jumped from the mid-50s to 60s to the 90s and 80s. So we gained a 30 FPS bump by just using quality DLSS. And using balanced DLSS, we go up to 110 FPS. Normally playing at 4K, you can use DLSS up to performance. But mostly like quality and balance are the way to go. And here it looks really good. A balanced DLSS, it still looks like native. And there's nothing weird going on with textures either, so. Uh, playing at medium settings 1080p. I mean honestly 1080p FPS will be like very similar across the board, no matter what settings you play on. Oh. We're still getting similar FPS to before. That guy's wearing an open. It's over. It's over. Let's go again. Alright, let's try this again. Medium sync 1080p, FPS 120. 
We are running some screen space reflections as well, I believe, because we had some some reflections, like some puddles in the indoor area of the spawn. And that's what it mainly comes down to. You'll have you'll have some puddles in the indoor areas or outside, and they will look really good. But other than that, you don't really see it, to be honest, so. Disabling it, you just, you just lose those puddles. Oh man, just survived the headshot, I think. Very nice. There's not really much to say. GP usage has gone up to 60% now. We were sitting in like the low 50s before. Alright, 440p medium settings. Surprisingly, FPS is still over 100 in this area of the map. We were GPU bound at 1080p, uh, at 440p low, but FPS is very similar here as well. Still getting, we're getting 80 to 100 FPS, or 70 FPS right there, finally dropping down. It's very jumpy right now. Even though we are in the bushy area and bushy areas are more taxing on the GPU, we're still holding over 100. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and test that DLSS, so let's jump up to 4K. Alright, 4K medium settings, FPS will be taking a pretty big hit, setting it in the 40s now, 50s. Aim feels, honestly at 50 FPS, aim feels fine still, you're aiming. Uh, it still feels pretty smooth. But once you fall into the 40s, your aim starts taking a hit. And especially when we scope them with the long range scope, we can see that we do get a pretty big FPS drop. Just trying to figure out what my keybinds are for the internal, the actual main site. Find ourselves with a little PMC over here. So yeah, next match might be Wipe and Taco Verino as well, which will be pretty fun to test. Don't know too much about it yet. Thought it was like a team deathmatch kind of thing, but apparently you can still loot and stuff in there also, so... Bit weird, but we'll see how it goes. Alright, DLSS set the quality for 4K medium. You can see that we're sitting in the high 80s now, so we gain, we pretty much double that FPS. And looking through the scope, we can see that the game looks really good. So they fixed the actual blurriness with DLSS, but the scopes are still very poorly designed. It's very similar to like COD Ghosts with the dual vendor scopes. That game had really bad performance on, on consoles anyway. I don't know about PC, I didn't, but on consoles, they definitely had some lagging issues because of it. But this game, you definitely lose like 20, 30 FPS by just scoping in with a longer range scope. But the game itself looks very good with the LSS. Okay, a final little preset, playing at high settings. Uh, we got pretty much everything maxed out. There's a couple of settings at the bottom which I didn't want to touch. It's all personal preference and I just decided to stick to the main settings. But again, like I predicted, um, playing at 1080p, GPU is still not fully utilized, even on high on the high preset. Still getting over 100 FPS as you would expect. If you get a better CPU than this, if you get like a 12th gen i9 or a 5800X 3D, or even like the new Ryzen that's like coming out, you get way better performance than this. I don't know if the extra FPS actually actually helps with Tarkov, to be honest. I don't really feel a difference playing at a higher frame rate compared to playing at 70, 80 FPS. It's kind of weird to say, but it's just how it feels. In like, in Valorant or like in Warzone or COD in general, you want to get as many frames as you can because it definitely does make a difference and your aim does feel better at like 200 FPS compared to playing at like 70, 80. I'm kind of looking forward to Streets of Tarkov since that is like the biggest map that they're working on. Yeah, like I was saying before, we're playing at 1440p by the way, we're playing at 1440p high settings now. But yeah, like I was saying, I'm looking forward to Streets of Tarkov because it is their biggest map. It's like a massive map. They're gonna start it off with like a small portion of the city, but they're gonna expand it as time goes on. I'm gonna guess the map's gonna run like crap at launch. Because like we had Lighthouse and that was so poorly, uh, poorly optimized. And that was like not that big of a map compared to what we had before. But I guess we'll see if they, do a good job with optimizing it. Getting like 80 to 90 FPS now. Medium was sitting at like 100, I think. So, decent, decent dip. Using DLSS at quality, we are getting 110 to 120 FPS. GPU is sitting at 70% instead of being fully maxed out. So, and the game looks really good as well. At 440p, the game looks really good. Don't really spot any blurriness, but I wouldn't push it past quality, to be honest. Maybe you can play a balance, but anything below that, the game's gonna look really poor. All right, 4K high settings, getting low 40s. I'm kind of stuck in this area of the map. We are playing in the daytime, by the way. It's not, it's not a nighttime time. It is just like, it's like 5.30, 5.40. So it is daytime. The sun hasn't fully come up yet, though. But we are sitting in the low 40s. The game does feel very laggy at this point, I gotta say. You definitely want to use DLSS if you want to play at 4K. Even on low settings, I'll use DLSS, to be honest. Just get over 100 FPS with it. 
All right, using Call of Duty DLSS at 4K, game looks great, and we get 30 FPS for free. Sitting at 70 FPS now. GPU is still fully maxed out as you would expect. Yeah, let's go up, jump up to balance DLSS. All right, balance DLSS, we're getting 80 FPS, so we gained an additional 10 FPS on top of quality. Game still looks great, can't really complain, don't really see any blurring either. Using performance DLSS, we gained 20 FPS on top of balance. But the game is starting to blur a little bit in the distance. As you can see at Rishala's building, you can see that it's a little bit blurry. And Ultra Performance, Stigler says, we're getting CPU bottom -linked. So, sitting at 100 FPS, but GPU is sitting at 70%, and the blurring is definitely more intense. Alright, uh, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like, and the subscription will be highly appreciated. See you next time.